All right, guys, if you live in a cold climate, it is now fall, and it's a great time to pull out those battery-operated jump starters that you might have in your car or truck and make sure they're charged. If you don't have a battery-operated jump starter in your car, I'm going to walk you through two new ones that I purchased because some of mine are old, and if you're buying them off Amazon, in this case, this guy isn't even made anymore, and you'll find that through a lot of these brands that are on Amazon. If you're buying on the cheap, most likely that brand is not going to be around. I'll give you some hints and tips as to what to buy and what to look for and some brands that have been around for a while, but I've got two of these new jump starters in the freezer. Let's pull them out and let's make sure they work. These two chargers have been in this freezer for about a week. I'll be honest, I'm not real thrilled about having them next to food, but it's a great time to get them out and try them out. We're gonna start with this Loftec first. So this Loftec says it's rated for a thousand amps. I always question that, but when you look at the back, 38.4 watt hours, starting current, 500 amps, peak current, 1000 amps. I still question the starting current. That should be an interesting test here because this 5.3 liter should take approximately that. Now, bottom side or bad news on this one is there's no boost button. So a lot of these will have a button that if your battery is not giving enough voltage, like it's dead dead, worst absolute case scenario, it's dead dead, that you have a button to push and it will start. Let's see if we can get this to go. I have the positive unhooked here. We're completely off the battery and this rags over it. And I have the negative terminal unhooked also. And it's going to accept it. It turned green. So let's see if it starts. So we tried to start the car. No bueno. To be fair to this unit, this battery is at about nine volts. It's on its last legs. Let's hook this guy up and just see if it will start the truck as it sits. We got a green light. Let's try it. It was just able to start this truck when it's cold, brand new, and on a full charge. So, What's that tell you? And now for the Gulu GP4000. So the Gulu GP4000 is much heavier. I mean, it feels like you have something in your hands. And when we look at the back, we can see that it is 800 amps for three seconds, 500 amps, five seconds. I like the additional information because it tells me that they've done the research and are trying not to mislead you at least fully. It is a 99.2 watt hour battery, which is great. It's got a bunch of other stuff inside of it. This is cold, obviously, but we'll hook it up. And this one does have a boost on it. So if it was to not detect what's going on, you would be able to or have to push the boost button to get it going. You can see here we have much larger cables. They are eight gauge cables, longer, bigger clamps, a lot better material that's made or put into this Gulu. So here we're getting a green blink. We're gonna push the boost button. We have 30 seconds to start the vehicle. So on a completely dead battery, this was able to start this truck, which to me is good news. I expect this. This is actually rated for a much larger engine, 10 liters, and this is only 5.3. So it gives you an idea of what you might need in that emergency situation. And with it cold and what we've used it for, we're already down one bar. Obviously, while you're looking at these online, and especially on Amazon, uh, you can't really tell the difference between the two as far as size. Uh, pictures are odd. They don't tell you realistically what size the cables are. They give you the 1,000 amps, and this guy, too, is realistically going to be 
rated at close to 1000 amps. So you would think that these two would be very similar and they're simply not. The cables are better on the Gulu, they're larger, the wire is larger. It's a little bit better marketing here on the Gulu where they're telling you what it'll do for what period of time. The big difference that you can look at here is watt hour. Obviously, if you have a 99 watt hour and a 38 watt hour, you can tell that one's going to be roughly one third of the size and see what happens. There's a huge difference here between the two and there's a huge difference in weight. This Loftec just simply feels like a toy, but this Loftec will probably work for a very small four cylinder engine. So if that's what you have, you can buy something down here. I wouldn't recommend this because my personal opinion on buying this stuff is to buy it to give to my daughter. So worst case scenario, would I give this to my daughter? Would I give this to my daughter and say, you know what? This has you covered no matter what happens in an emergency. So no, I would definitely go up to something a little bit larger. So my suggestion to you is go big or go home when you're buying this stuff, do your research, get something that is going to have a lot of reviews behind it, but also look out because a lot of these models are changing because of their charging. Both these have USB-C's and before we had USB minis or micros to charge these. And in different cases, like with this Gulu, you can actually charge it fast in your car by plugging it into the cigarette lighter. So there's an adapter here that you can use and or use as an output if you wanted to. So if you have like this has a 15 volt 10 amp output for a cigarette lighter, you could physically use this to charge something else. When you see those things, most likely there's a little bit more thought in the process of building them and what they might be used for in the future. And if they don't list watt hour, maybe they'll list amp hour higher the amp hour is going to be the longer the battery is going to last the amp hour is a calculation of watt hours also so it's all in there what i'm going to do is leave four or five of these that i would suggest below they're going to be larger ones they're going to be more expensive models because i'm going to give you overkill like i would give my daughter because that's what i believe use them trust them and they actually will work as always guys we appreciate your time give us a like in this video subscribe to the channel have a great day